Hi everybody, this is Oksana, and in this video, we're going to make a cute little mushroom pendant. I think I've actually even had someone ask me once, how do you wrap a stone that's in the shape of a little mushroom? And I've never had a stone like that up until now, and so I thought it was worth a tutorial, and I came up with something really simple that uses round wire. I know some of you really like when I use round wire, because it's easier for you to get a hold of. And just two pieces of round wire, pretty simple but cute design. So um, I hope that you enjoy, and if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every weekend. I did miss a weekend there um, recently because I went away on vacation, but I'm back now, back to my regularly scheduled programming. So I'll be doing videos every weekend like normal. And thank you, I hope you enjoy this video. The wire that I'm going to be using is 24 gauge round wire and I purchased this wire from RioGrande.com. It's round, dead soft copper wire. And I will be using two pieces of this wire. It's pretty thin as you can see here. And they are 13 inches long. And then the little mushroom that I'm going to be using is just, a, it's a little bit less than an inch. It's like three quarters of an inch. Or if you're measuring in millimeters, it's about 20 millimeters. Here's what it looks like. It's just a little three-dimensional little mushroom and it's a dark um, blue color because it's a lapis lazuli. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle, roughly the middle of my wires. And what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to crisscross them like this. Just put one on top of the other making an X and I'm going to twist. If you um, haven't done a lot of twisting before, it really does take some practice. So maybe you have some scraps that you can practice on because, um, you know, even for me, I've done a lot of twisting. It doesn't always go my way and it um, gets kind of wonky. The key that I found for me is sometimes, see how this is like a nice angle, like this is going up and this is going down kind of roughly at the same angle. And then sometimes when you twist, one of them kind of moves a little bit and it'll be like a little higher like this. And then I have to make sure that I kind of adjust and put them back. And that's really been the key for me. Um, you can see here. Actually, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see here the twist is not looking good. That's where I started. A lot of times um, the starting kind of doesn't work out too well because you're twisting it like both of the wires in both directions. And what you can do if that happens to you as well is I'm just going to straighten out this wire with my pliers so I have like untwisted the messed up part. I'm wondering actually if I need to untwist one more. I'm just going to untwist one more. Now that I have a good twist going here, going back to the beginning here, and I untwisted it, and with my pliers, I am straightening the wire because obviously it's got some kinks in it now from being twisted. So just be gentle and careful as well. This is pretty thin wire. You don't want to like press really hard on it with your pliers and break it. So I fixed it up a little bit here. So now I'm going to adjust the angle here, make sure it looks nice and even, and just give it a little twist. See how it's coming along? Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to do that again until I get through this part that's a little bit messed up. Like the, I can tell which wires I just um, pressed on with my pliers. So I'm just gonna get through that little area. There we go. So now that's looking good. That's a good looking twist. So what I'm gonna do, let me zoom out. 
so you can see a little better, is this will be on one side. You just have to, um, this isn't like a specific length. We're going to go longer with this, but if you just get it started so the wires are nice and connected, then we can do this next step. So for the next step, we are putting our mushroom stem here and we are bringing the wires around the little mushroom stem like this and we are crisscrossing them on the other side and then twisting it. So right up against the stem there sometimes it's easier to just grab it and twist it with your pliers because it's hard to get in there with your fingers sometimes. And then once you got it started, you can just continue twisting by hand. But the point of this is to just kind of get it to go around the little stem of our mushroom there. So now on both um, sides of the mushroom, we have the little twist going. And it kind of sits like this in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this up. It isn't quite long enough though, but this is how you can tell is if we push this up around our little mushroom, our little twist, it doesn't quite reach the top there. This one is a little bit longer than the other one, but neither one of them really reaches the top. And it needs to be actually a little taller than the top because we, we have to make a bale with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on both of these sides and I'm just going to work on twisting that until it's a bit taller. So that's one side. It's a bit taller now. Sometimes um, the twist gets little kind of kinks in it, so if you go over it like this to keep it straight. And now I'm going to the other side here. And I'm just going to twist this side for a bit as well. One of them needs to be really tall because we're going to make our bale with it. So it needs to not only get to the top of the mushroom, but we have to be able to make the little loop of the bale with it. So I'll just keep going with this one for a while. There we go. This one's nice and tall. I'm just going to go over it a little bit. It's got some little kinks in it here at the end. There we go. Straighten it out. Okay, so this will be our bale since it's taller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it around the top of the mushroom here. Here's the other side. And what I want it to do is the bale is going to be right on top in the center of the top of the mushroom. So I'm going to try and bend it up like this where I want it to be and try to get that nice and centered. Okay, I think that looks good. So then with our other twist, what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap it around. 
So it's coming here and then we're just wrapping it all the way around. It's another chance for me to check if it's centered. I'm just gonna press down on this little wrap with my pliers. It's kind of centered, but it's kind of a little tiny bit to the left. Let's see if there's any way for me to fix that. I think part of the reason is this isn't pressed down. Okay, that looks good. That looks centered to me. So basically we just took this, we wrapped it around one time, and now, so we have to determine the back. So this will be the back. If you don't like it, just twist your mushroom around <laughs> because it twists. So it actually doesn't really matter if there's like a pretty spot on it, you know. You can make that be in the front. So what we have to do is we have to get rid of this little end piece here. So I'm just going to trim it, but I'm going to leave an end. I'm not going to trim it super short. See the little end there sticking out? So I'm going to try and take that and just kind of tuck it down a little bit and kind of into the little gap under there to tuck away the sharp little wire ends. And then um, I'm just going to press here because there's a little gap here. So here's what we have so far. This is the front, this is the back, but you can't really tell because we tucked that under anyway, so there isn't any like wire ends sticking out anywhere. So all we have left to do is to make our little bale. So to make the bale, I'm going to use my round nose pliers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, find the front of it, whatever you want to be the front, hold it with your round nose pliers, bend it towards yourself and then we're going to make the little loop so if you just go up higher on your round nose pliers to like a thicker portion and just kind of wrap it around that's how you get your little loop um, and that's actually it's kind of big so I'm just going to make it a smidge smaller there kind of help shape it you can use your um, pliers to kind of shape it, to squish it smaller, to move it, whatever you need to do. So once you're satisfied, I'm just going to hold the loop with my pliers like this so it doesn't move. And then with that little end, if it's not twisted, go ahead and twist it. I actually think that maybe mine needs just a smidge more here because I need to wrap it around as well. So I just want to make sure the twist is long enough. So I'm holding it and then I'm wrapping it around and it's going to go here in the front and then to the back. It was actually just enough of the twisted wire to get there, huh? I'm just squishing it down with my um, pliers to tighten up that little wrap. So here's um, where my little twist ends. So I'm just going to twist it smidge more because we have to figure out how to tuck this away. Now sometimes there might be an easier way for you to tuck away the little ends. That might come to you and that might be easier. I usually just look around, you know, where, what can I tuck it under, where can I tuck it away, and I think in this case the easiest thing to do is just put it here exactly where I put the other wire ends, here in the back. You could, like, wrap it around the bale, for example, or even just make something with it. Like have a longer end and just do like a little swirl with it as well. So I'm just trying to get this little wire end. It's really hard um, with these because you can't see the wire end really well. So I'm just kind of pressing it in. It's going in there just like the other one. The important thing is just feel it that nothing's sticking out. 
that's the important thing with tucking away the wire ends and then if you need to kind of adjust anything here from the front here we have our little twisted mushroom pendant and here it is on a little necklace so you could see what it would look like if you were to wear this as a pendant so that's it i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye